really well. The backs and in between the fingers, my thumbs, my fingertips, palms of my hand, before I prepare some food. I thought you might like to see what we're having for dinner tonight. Using a lot of math and science to make dinner. And I thought you might like to see. I'm preparing two pizzas here with ready-made crusts for my husband and I. I've made some homemade pizza sauce. Mmm. Here's some toppings. And then I'm gonna make my son's bagel pizzas. So first, I prepared the crusts. I'm gonna ladle on the sauce. Mm. Yummy. So the way I made the sauce is I started with garlic, onion, tomato paste, and tomato sauce. Added seasoning like oregano, basil, and parsley some garlic salt, and that's about it. And then I let it simmer for about an hour. It's been cooking for about an hour now. While I made the pizza crusts. I made them from mozzarella cheese, cream cheese, almond flour, some baking soda, Italian spices, and garlic salt. But you can get your own ready-made crusts at the store if you like and they're ready to go, and then you just add your own sauce. You can even use jar spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce. And then you can add your own toppings, whatever you would like. So that's my sauce, and for my toppings, I'm gonna add some sausage. So this is already cooked sausage. I'm gonna add some sausage. I've got my veggies already cut up. Be very careful, make sure a parent is with you if you are gonna attempt any of this on your own. My husband, Mr. James, is working on some projects as we speak here. So that's the sausage, kind of big pieces. So I'm gonna cut some of them in half. Ooh, halves, we've been talking about halves. Maybe even into fourths, look at that. Yummy. So that'll be the sausage part of it. I already have some sliced pepperoni right here. So I think I'm gonna put down the cheese first. I have shredded mozzarella, I bought the big bag because I thought we might make a few things with mozzarella cheese. So I'm gonna put the cheese down first and I just washed my hands so I can put my hands in here and get nice big handfuls of cheese. And then you kind of just roll it through your fingers so it spreads out nice and evenly so when it melts, it's nice and even, and you don't have like big clumps. It's nice and even like that. I'm gonna do the other pizza. Same deal. Yummy, it's gonna be so good when it's melted. I've been warming the oven. I put it on baked convection, uh, 425, actually 450. And so it's been preheating. And now I can add my toppings. I think I'll do my pepperoni next. Kind of like an everything pizza, meat and veggies, yummy. So I'm gonna evenly distribute out all my pepperoni. Yummy, who likes pepperoni? I do! Okay, and then I'm gonna do the sausage. Oh. Da-dum, da-dum, no. I got this idea to make a video because when we were home with my boys, when they were growing up, we'd do cooking shows and we'd get everything ready and we'd film each other and we'd make little cooking shows and I thought that was so fun and they thought it was fun and they'd learn about science and math and measuring and food and we'd have fun together and then we'd watch the cooking show later so I thought that would be a great idea. I've got some red pepper. I love red pepper so I'm going to evenly distribute that out. I'm trying to visualize once I'm done how I'm going to cut this into fractions. Just like we did at school, we cut our pizzas into different fractions. I don't know if I'm going to do fourths, 
if I'm really hungry, if I'm gonna do eights to share with more people. Definitely not halves, cause that's kind of being selfish. All right, so I'm gonna add some of the yellow pepper. It's gonna be beautiful, you guys. We'll have to make something like this at school when we get back together. I just wanted to share with you what I am doing at home. We've got some red onion, yummy. I sliced them nice and big. So they'll be warm and cooked on top of the pizza. So that's what one of them looks like. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven and bake it for a little bit and you get to see the final result. So I have both of my pizzas prepared with their toppings and I'm gonna set them in the oven now. So be very careful with the oven. Make sure adult is always present if you're gonna attempt this. So now I'm gonna let that just melt the cheese down and cook the toppings. Set that timer for 10 minutes. You know I love my timers. 10 minutes on that. And then it's time for yumminess. All right, so now we're gonna make some bagel pizzas. These are really easy to make. So the bagel acts as the crust. So I've been toasting a bagel here and he's ready to go. Be very careful if they're hot. All right, so now you're gonna do the same process like we did for the regular pizza, but just on a smaller scale. So I'm gonna set this to the side, the little sauce, and I'm gonna put on the sauce onto the bagel. Just spread it on a little bit. I have a little spatula here, I'm gonna spread that evenly okay and then I have my cheese again that mozzarella mozzarella I'm gonna sprinkle it on there so I already toasted it so that it's a little bit crunchy so when I put it in the oven it's just gonna be melting the cheese is what's the purpose of the oven at this point now, my boys don't necessarily like all the veggies like I do, so I'm just gonna make theirs a meat lover's pizza, which is gonna have pepperoni and the sausage. That's how they like it. So I'm just gonna put on some pepperoni, try to spread those out evenly. And then I'm gonna put out my Sausage. So I can fit without it toppling over. And then I've got my baking pan set up with some parchment paper. Parchment paper is nice because then you don't have to clean the pan afterwards. If anything drips off or anything, you just crumple up the parchment paper and throw it away. So I'm gonna transfer carefully my bagel pizzas like so, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven. You need your oven mitts. You don't wanna burn yourself. And these are gonna require a lot less time than the pizzas, so it's gonna match up nice, nicely because we've got six minutes left on the big pizzas, and that's about all you need to melt the cheese. Can't wait. There's the timer. Mmm. Voila. The veggies are cooked, the meat is cooked, and the onions are cooked, and the cheese is melted. Let's see what our bagel pizzas look like. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm, can't wait to cut these into equal portions so we all can have a slice.